Brown Wire Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you stop by because you love seeing what people pick up when they do a beauty haul, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. All right, I have three hauls to share with you today. Each haul is pretty small, so I figured I would put them together. Let's start with the smallest haul. This is just one product I picked up from the New Beauty Free Gift Friday. Whenever I pick these up, they sit around until I have other hauls to group them into because nobody wants to watch a video of me unboxing one item. So I have no idea what this is. New Beauty is a magazine. They're also the people that do the test tube beauty box. I canceled that subscription last year, but I still get their text messages and will pick up a free gift Friday when the product speaks to me. All right, what do we have here? This is from a brand called PCA Skin and it's a Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum. Yeah, typically what you get in the Free Gift Friday is gonna be skincare related, but you can't go wrong with picking up a product and only paying $12.95 shipping and handling. You heard me right. Their shipping and handling fee went up by yet another dollar, but still to get a product that I'm gonna guess is at least $40, if not higher, for 13 bucks, you can't beat that. All right, my next haul is from Laura Geller. I was influenced, I know, who am I? I never get influenced. <laughs> yeah, right. I was watching a video from Wayne Goss and he was talking about this product and it just so happened there was a 4th of July sale going on, yada yada, I did a haul. I remember the one product I was influenced to buy, but I have no recollection of what else I picked up. All right, let's start with the product I was Influence to buy, which is the Baked, Balanced, and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. I am a little nervous about this product because I have extremely dry skin, but supposedly this is good for dry skin and mature skin. This is a powder foundation. The lazy girl inside me is crossing my fingers that this will work nicely. I have a feeling maybe not, but ooh, I was a sucker and just had to pull the trigger. All right, there's a swatch. I picked it up in the shade Fair. I'm not wearing any makeup other than mascara. So let's, ooh, it's a little dark. and eh, feels dry like a powder. What happens for me when I use products that are super drying or powders, the reason I don't use or wear powders is they make my skin look extra crepey. Let's see if it will cover my hyperpigmentation. Hmm. All right, granted that was just a little finger swatch, a little placement. My first impression is I'm not gonna like that, but I'm going to do a complete review video where I apply it to my entire face and we'll see how that works out. I have a feeling I may end up using this when I use a product that is super light in coverage, maybe as a powder just to give a little extra. I don't know. But let me know if you've tried this product and if so, what are your thoughts? All right, now I'm super excited to see what else I picked up because I don't remember at all. Okay, so we have this product here, which is the multi-purpose bronzer. I had no idea I picked up a bronzer. Very interesting. Uh, my expectation is that a bronzer would come in a compact around this size. This here is interesting size and shape. And ooh, there's a mirror on the bottom. Very small, but I can always use a mirror. All right, what is going on? Okay, is there gonna be a brush over here? So it has that same kind of marbled, baked look. This seems like a sample size. Did I get a sample size? I'm so confused. I'm gonna have to look online because I do not remember at all. Okay, interesting, that is not a brush. It's like a stamp, like it functions the same as a stamp, but this here is a foam, I don't know, like something you would get in a powder, compact where they give you that free little foamy, I don't know, the thing that you use to apply the product. It's a little thicker, but it's just a foam, I don't know. Why would you have a foam 
for a powder bronzer. Interesting. All right, let's do a swatch. All right, here is a swatch of the bronzer, and here is a swatch of the baked foundation. How are you supposed to get a brush in there? Let's give it a quick little try. It's so weird wearing bronzer when you don't have other makeup on. All right, I like that it's more red undertones and not orangey, so I will definitely do a try on in a separate video. All right, I also picked up a lip product. This here is the Jelly Balm, which is a hydrating lip color, and I have it in the shade In the Buff. This is what the packaging looks like. And here is what the shade looks like. That is not what I would call buff. That is what I would call a dusty rose. And Swatch, it's very fuchsia pink. Let's give it a try. All right, I'm already regretting that haul. OMG. Sadly, no backsies. All right, and then the last item, and I recall specifically picking this up because I hate paying for shipping and handling, and I was, I don't know, $12 shy, and shipping and handling was like eight bucks, so I was like, okay. So I picked up a brush. This here is the Classic Bronzer Brush. Ooh, that is a big boy. Um, it's soft, but it's dense but not super dense. It's a mix between fluffy and dense. Ooh, that's gonna be perfect for bronzer, which is how it's advertised. All right, I'm gonna list the MSRP value of what was on sale and what I paid. I'm super curious if you all are into Laura Geller, if you've ever tried her products, and if so, let me know what are your favorites. All right, now on to the best haul of this video, which is what I picked up from Ulta. Believe it or not, I've been on a low buy. Yeah, you see me unbox stuff. But to be fair, I used a free $50 Ulta gift card for this Ulta haul. So to me, that puts me still on a low buy. If anyone's curious how you too can get a free $50 Ulta gift card, not sponsored by the way, I have an app called Fetch. If you're curious, you can use my referral code. You simply, as you shop normally, just take a picture of your receipt and you get points. The bare minimum you can get is 25 points per receipt. However, I noticed certain grocery store receipts or even Costco, you can get like 2000 points. I think it depends on like what you've purchased. I don't know. I just snap a photo, swipe the picture to send it and collect my points. It's an easy way to get a free gift card. Again, with this haul, I remember one specific product and have no clue what else I picked up. Ulta was having their big summer sale and I had the free gift card. So it was the time I bit the bullet because I've been wanting this product ever since it was released and I started seeing fantastic reviews. I have from Natasha Denona, the High Glam Concealer. I have extremely high hopes that this concealer will truly become my holy grail. I've seen so many people review this and claim they love this. Hopefully I got a correct shade. This is N3, let's do a swatch. All right, it's right there, can you see it? It looks, I don't wanna say dark, it looks like it's gonna match my skin tone. It maybe won't brighten as much. It has a very interesting doe foot. It's like triangular in shape. And then there's like a little slit, the type that you typically see in lip products that will help for it to pick up product. All right, I'm dying to see if the shade will match and if I'm gonna love it as much as everyone's been raving about it. I will do a full review, but since I'm not wearing any makeup, whoa. The Dofa picks up an insane amount of product. So I probably got way too much on. That is very dark for a three. I almost got the four, but thought, nah, I probably should have got a two. Let me know, can you return stuff and get different shades at Ulta? Because I may need to do that. All right, I'm just spreading it with my finger. 
I'm getting a little on my nose and let's see how it covers that hyperpigmentation. All right, it feels nice. It feels a little, I don't want to say thick, but it isn't super, run, not runny, but thin. I'm just going to take a damp sponge and pounce it in. I'm looking cray cray because I got redness here. <laughs> just uh, a little coverage under my eyes and not the rest of my face. But first impression, what do we think? Considering it's been on my face for only 20 seconds, uh, it's not looking bad, but I will definitely do a full on review. Also, let me know if you've picked this up and tried it. And do you give it all of the rave reviews that I've seen everyone else give? All right, what else did I get? Why does this look like a mascara? Did I pick up a mascara? Yes, I did. Okay, so this is the Lash Like a Boss instant volume and length oh okay it's from essence that makes sense i really like the lash princess from essence and i forget who i saw using this it's like five bucks so i thought you know what let's give it a try i'm curious what the wand looks like okay it's a little mini curve and i like the size we will have to see whether or not i like this is this waterproof yes okay waterproof it's like, I'm not saying the word waterproof. Yes, it is waterproof. Okay, now I remember why I was shopping that sale. Pacifica was like 40% off. This here is the Glow Baby Brightening Setting Mist. And I believe, yes, it has SPF 45. I really was looking to find a mist that I can toss in my purse that once all of my makeup's on, I can spray to kind of reapply SPF. Not that you're going to get full SPF. But I'm not going to go in with cream SPF after I put on my makeup. Interesting. Here's the box, but here's the product. It's a little smaller. Um, yeah, so this here is, oh, oh wow, only 50 ml. Usually sprays you get twice that amount, but... Oh, wait, why are there balls in what looks like a clear mist? Interesting. Let's see how good the mister is. Okay, seems like it's going to be fine. Let's do a face test. Very fine mister. I'm trying to pinpoint what the scent is. It's interesting. It's not bad. It's just confusing because I want to say there's maybe a little bit of grapefruit with a little bit of SPF with a little bit of is there alcohol in this and a little bit of powder uh, it's a very interesting scent uh, okay yeah the very first ingredient is denatured alcohol my dry skin's gonna love that but it is infused with vitamin C and C minerals let me know if you've used or tried this before and if so what your thoughts were and the last item from the Ulta haul is also from Pacifica. This here is the Glow Stick Lip Oil, and I have it in the shade Pale Sunset. Uh, holy cow! That is very dark and bright orangey red. Why online shopping do you deceive? All right, let's cross our fingers that it's very, very sheer. Okay, yes. So sheer you can't even see anything. All right, I feel slightly better. Is this one of those weird pH changing? Hold on. It says a sheer oil-based formula with a light blur of color and a big kiss of hydration. Um, I'm not seeing anything that says pH and I'm fairly certain it wouldn't show up over this very Barbie doll pink lip product from Laura Geller, so I won't even bother giving it a try, but I will try it out in a future video. All right, that is everything in today's haul. I must say, I'm a little disappointed in myself, in my shopping. Wow, I'm almost as disappointed as I am when I unbox an Ipsy box and I picked up these products. Hopefully when I try them on, I will feel very, very different. I'm super curious if any of you have tried any of these products 
and hopefully you will say yes and I love them because right now I'm like what was I thinking thank goodness this Ulta haul was pretty much free because I had the $50 gift card otherwise ugh. although I think you can return stuff to Ulta Hmm, maybe I need to think about doing that. Oh, if anyone's curious, let me put the MSRP value of those products as well. I'm really excited about the Natasha Denona concealer. I just think I might have gotten a shade that is too dark. But let's see how she's doing two to three minutes in. Um, mm, I've had worse, but I've also had better. I really think a lighter shade might bode better. All right, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you can do me a big favor, if you could click that thumbs up, it really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone. Mm -hmm.